Hello everyone, in this tutorial you'll learn how to create a spinner or a drop down in your app. They're a great way for allowing users to select a value from a list of items. So let's get started. To have a spinner in our app, we're going to have to add the XML element to our activity main.xml. So I'm going to say spinner and its width as well as its height will wrap content. You can see I also have a text view over here asking the user to select a state. I'm just going to position the spinner below that text view. And I'm also going to center it horizontally, provide some margin from the text view at the top. And um, the last thing I'm going to do is provide my spinner with an ID. So this is the important part. You may not have to do these things over here if you do not have this text view, but you should have an ID for your spinner that way we can use it in our Java file. So now that we have the spinner over here, you can see it doesn't have any values yet. We're going to go into mainactivity.java to change that. Just as we would with any other XML object, I'm going to create an object for my spinner and call it spinner. And I'm going to set it to find view by ID. And this is where I'll pass in the ID that I gave it in the XML file. Once I have this, I'm also going to create a list of values or items that I want to appear in my spinner. So I'm going to hard code these items into a string. I'll call this states. In this example, I'll create a spinner where the user can select a couple of states from the dropdown. So over here, I'll say arrays.asList. And you can see if you do command P or control P, we have to provide some strings. For example, I'll just say Texas, California, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. Of course, there are more states, but here are just five of them. Once we've created our list as well as our spinner object, we're going to create an array adapter object. And what the array adapter does is for every element inside of our list, it will create a view for that element and display the value in a text view. So for example, each of these elements in the dropdown were created using the array adapter and they each have their own view. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to call my array adapter um, adapter and then I'm going to set it equal to a new array adapter object. If you do command P or control P, you can see the parameters. One of them is the context. So I'm going to say get application context. We also have to provide a resource, layout resource and this is what the general spinner will look like. So if you look at the spinner right now, you can see it looks like this. Uh, the text is kind of gray. This is the appearance that's being defined by the layout that we pass in as our second parameter. So in a later tutorial, I'll teach you how to make your own custom layout. For now, we're going to use the default one by typing in android.r.layout and then .simple spinner item. And then we're going to pass in our list over here called states. So this is the part where it will create a view for each of our states. We will also specify the layout for each element in our dropdown, like the way that it looks over here for each state by saying adapter.setDropdownViewResource. And then over here, we'll say android.r.layout.simpleSpinnerDropdownItem. So make sure that for the dropdown view resource, you're saying simple spinner dropdown item. And for the constructor for the array adapter, you're using the simple spinner item. This is unless, of course, you have your own layouts that you want to use instead. And this is something I'll cover in the coming tutorials. Now that we have this, we simply have to set the adapter on a spinner by saying spinner.setAdapter and then passing in this adapter object. And now we're ready to run the app. So when we run the final app, you can see over here we have a spinner. It has the value Texas. And then when we click on the spinner, it gives us a list of five states that we've provided in our list over here. You could, of course, go on to add more states or use it for countries or different types of items. But basically what you learned from this tutorial was how to add a spinner to your app. In the next lesson, you will learn how to actually get the selected item from the spinner and do some things with it. Until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.